Florida sophomore, Ryan LeBlanc. First question, Ryan, from New York, how do you end up in Bloomington? Um, I, don't know, I, I don't know, really. I, uh, I came out here on a recruiting visit, and I think I signed my letter of intent. Like I, I verbaled two days later and then signed my letter uh, the next week. So I just kind of fell in love with Bloomington when I came here. Uh, obviously, you were making selling on the mat this year, but also an academic All-Big Ten selection as a freshman, likely to do it again this year. Uh, what's the importance of the classroom to you? Um, uh, it's just something I grew up around. My both my parents or my mom's a teacher, and um, they were a big part of my life. And you know, it, school came first, so it's really important to me to graduate with a degree. You know, I you know, so if I don't do that, I'm, I can't I can't go home. They'd be they'd be pretty upset <laughs> with me. I think doing well on the mat, they can't be upset with that. You're tied for the team lead, 21 wins. What's been the key to your success this season? Um, well, I moved up. I moved up to 74 this year, and. Uh, I think just um, I think just doing the right things, making sure I'm ready for practice, being prepared, uh, coming in with a better attitude, and staying. This past summer, I stayed in Bloomington instead of going home. I trained, and I you know I was in I was in the room every day or two days a week. I was in the weight room, um, and I made a lot of gains personally. Uh, you're not only getting your hand raised, but you're doing it with some bonus points. You got six major decisions, two tech falls, three pins. Talk about kind of I guess the team aspect of being able to get some bonus points for the team, make you feel pretty good. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. It's when things are when things are going good there. You know, it's easy to just keep going. So, in some of my matches I got a lead, and it's it's easy to build a lead once you get it. You know, competed in three tournaments this year. You've placed in all of them, either fifth or higher. Uh, I guess that's something maybe build some confidence for postseason play. As obviously that's tournament format as well for the Big Tens and hopefully NCAs for you. Yeah, yeah. My tournament performances have been all right so far, and just trying to, uh, you know, I got I I took some tough losses, but uh, just trying to wrestle every match that. I can, like it's good, you know, as best I can, I guess. Dual matches, doing well there as well. You haven't lost in a duel yet, seven and zero. Um, as long as well as Taylor Walsh, Matt Palace, all three of you guys undefeated so far in duels. What do you prefer though? Do you like the dual match aspect, or do you kind of like to grind it out in a multi-day tournament? Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> I don't know. I think this year, uh, going up to seventy-four, I think the dual format really. Uh, you know, I think I have an edge because I'm not losing that much weight. I feel really good after one hour. I'm ready to warm up as soon as we weigh in. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a mental thing where I'm like, you know, I, I feel like I got something on everybody I wrestle, you know, because I really feel like I, I feel good after weigh which is, for me, it's something new. And, uh, and but a tournament format, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fun to, like, Vegas was a lot of fun. I think I wrestled, like, six matches or something. You know, it's, it's like a roller coaster ride, you know, it's up and down in the same day. So, I don't know, they're just different. You got a pair of duels this weekend. We head to the state of Michigan, take on the Wolverines and the Spartans. What do you expect from the competition? I think it's going to be tough. You know, two two Big Ten teams. I know Michigan's. They got some good guys. Um, they're pre I think they're ranked pretty high. Yep. And uh, in Michigan State's always a good match. So, you know, it's like any other Big Ten match. It's going to be it's going to be tough. Uh, two part question: Which coach and which teammate do you work with most in the training room, and how do they help you get the most out of yourself? Um. Hmm. That's funny. I uh, that's a tough question too. I I don't know. I, Brandon Becker is the uh, he's the middleweight coach. You know, he's right around my size. We do a lot of our drill sessions together. We talk a lot. We watch a lot of film together. But uh, I think my style is kind of a mesh between all of them. So I, I it's it's funny. I, I fall in between a few of them, and I think I, I think I can take a lot from all four of them. So they you know it I get I get I think a lot, and then. Uh, there's no really other 74 pounder in the room, right. so as far as who I work with, I, I you know I split my time between Cheney Dale, um, Luke Sheridan, our 84 pounder, Matt Paulus, Garrett Goldman, and even Preston Kiefer. You know I, I have I have a wide range of partners, and I think that's a big part of my success this year too. How about some personal goals for you, not only this season but uh, also in your next three years before you take off in Bloomington? Um, well. I uh, I fell short from qualifying for the national tournament last year, so that's first and foremost. Uh, but to be an All-American this year is, is my, definitely my my goal. And uh, you know, and I think you build goals as as you accomplish them. So I'll be looking for the next two years after this year. Um, you know, hopefully looking towards some bigger, better goals. Great. And last question before you get you out of here. Let's say the season ended today. You get one big meal the next day. Any meal you want. What is it? You awesome. don't have to worry about weight anymore. Um. Well, I, what's good is this year I've been I've been really enjoying my meals, um, but ice cream for sure, for sure.